Fellas, we didn't want to go through uh, the lengthy process of giving you this quiz out here because the actual questions don't make any difference to this stunt. What we want to do is to know whether you're interested in a bet. Mr. Lang and Mr. Heffern, this is the bet. That whoever wins or loses in this individually taken test will devise a penalty that the other one must agree to abide by. <laughs> will you agree to this? I'm willing. I even have a yes, penalty I'll, in mind. I'll go along with that. All right. Now, uh, Mr. McGeehan, uh, would you tell, give me the slip of paper? Here it is. The winner, with a high score of 78 out of a possible 100, is... The Democrat. <laughs> now, congratulations. Now, wait a minute. I'll leave. Now, Mr. Uh, Lang, is it? Mr. Lang? Yes. Look at me, please. I have here, just to help you, a list of a half a dozen of the various penalties that we have given on People Are Funny over the last 10 or 12 years, just to get you in the mood. You can also think up your own. Would you please go backstage and figure out any penalty you want for the Republican? <laughs> you got that? Right. You just leave now, Mr. Uh, Heffern, was it? Yes, that's right. Tell us about how you first met uh, this man. Did you know him as... He's gone. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Actually, you two fellows are friends at business. He seemed very joyful about going backstage to think up a thing for you. Uh, well, I'm not surprised at that. <laughs> be murder, wouldn't it, when he comes out with really something... I guess it must be because he's a Democrat, basically, and you're a Republican. That's right. Yeah. Because after all, when he... Huh? I'm awfully sorry. We made a terrible mistake. What's that? We've just added the scores again, and the Democrat didn't win after all. The winner's the Republican.